Hi, viewers. Today we do have Miss Plano Nishab with me right now. Hi, Nishab. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm nice to meet great. you. Thank you for so, having me. I mean, like, it's pleasure. Pleasure is mine, you know. All Thank mine. you. So, could you just tell us a bit about yourself, your childhood, your education? Mm -hmm. for of course. Years? Yeah. So, my name is Nisat Parveen. I am the reigning Miss Plano United States 2018. And this title means so much to me because I grew up in Plano. I am originally from Bangladesh. My parents actually migrated here when I was six months. And okay. so as a six month year old child, I grew up speaking Bengali and English. And then, you know, I got exposed to our culture. So I learned Hindi and Urdu, Arabic. And then I picked up like just from living in Texas, I picked up Spanish and sign language. That's true. And then growing up, you know, I had the best of both worlds because I grew up in a diverse culture. So yeah. I got to enjoy all the traditional Bengali foods, but then I got to also enjoy like American culture, which is like freedom and independence. And my parents have never limited me. And okay. so because of that, because of the opportunities they had for me, I was able to go to the University of Texas at Dallas, where I'm currently still studying. And I'm studying neuroscience, which is the study of the brain and nervous system. And this field is so fascinating to me because I feel like when you study the brain, you basically know everything in life. Yeah, when you study brain, that, that's how you, I mean, like you can read the other guy's mind. Mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. Good. And that, yeah. that's very important in your field, if I'm not mm -hmm. wrong. Yes, because um, my personal platform is on suicide prevention. And right. so I feel like if I can really dig deeper into the molecular level of the brain and understand why a person feels this way, then it helps me get my answers. And with those answers, really? I can help someone else out. That's right. That's really nice of you. So, I mean, like, how does the crown feel? I the mean, crown? Like, yeah. It feels like the greatest honor ever, but at the same time, it's a big responsibility because having this, you know, it's not all about just being pretty and all about me. It's about like using this voice that I have with this crown and using it to empower others and standing up for causes that I'm passionate about, such as suicide prevention. Right. So, I mean, like, uh, I know definitely after Miss Plano, it will be state next level. Mm -hmm. So, when and where, I mean, this pageant is going to happen? So, it's going to be in San Antonio on May 5th. May 5th. And yeah. it'll be right next to the Riverwalk. Uh -huh. We're going to be staying at the Manger Hotel, and it'll be so much fun because San Antonio has so much cultural and so much arts to it, so I'm excited for it. Definitely, I mean, like, I'll, I'll definitely be, if, if given a chance, I'll definitely be a part of it. Right Thank you, here. I would yes. love to have you. Yeah, everyone that's watching right now, if you guys could please come, then go to misstexas.us and get your tickets, and I would love to have you guys in the audience. Okay. That would mean the world to me. So, I mean, like, who is the role model behind uh, you, who actually encouraged you, or, I mean, like, who was who supported you? So initially it was my mom uh -huh. and it's a funny story because like I was never like the pageant type. I was very shy. I didn't have as much confidence in myself, but then she was the one who said like, look, you have so much talents inside you. You need to show the world. And so she signed me up for this little pageant. It was called Miss South Asia Texas, which I didn't win. But uh -huh. from that experience, I had like other directors that were watching and they invited me to compete in their local pageants. And then from doing all these pageants, I got confident and I got a voice. And each time my mom, she would always help me. She's like, no, you know, like walk like this and talk like, you know, with more confidence, with more poise. And so I would say because of her, I'm able to do all this. That's good. I mean, like, yeah, she's your inspiration. Mm -hmm. And other than your parents, who are your role model? Who is your role model, do you think? So I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. Oh. And you know, besides him being a great entertainer, singer, dancer, he was an amazing humanitarian. That's right. His yeah. message was all about healing the world, um, learning from kids. You know, they are our future generation. There are ways of accepting others. That's where we need to learn from. And mm -hmm. when I listen to his songs like Man in the Mirror, like it really starts with yourself to make a difference. That's what gives me inspiration. So I say that, you know, if I want to promote this message I have of, suicide prevention, I need to be that person. I need to know this field very well. And that's why I studied neuroscience. So I could really go out there and speak it. I don't know if he is inspiration to you, but you are definitely an inspiration to me, you know. Thank you. And that is because so sweet. At a very young age, because you're still studying, if I'm not wrong. Yes. And at this age, you achieved something and, and you are still going to achieve mm. more. So you're definitely an inspiration to us. That means the world to me. <clears throat> so, I mean, like, yeah, how did this patient actually help you out? You, you told me you're a shy girl, mm -hmm. then definitely yeah. other than uh, this, it, it, 
Is it, there anything that helped Yeah, it you? helped me, not just because I was shy, but like I said, I wasn't confident growing up. Uh -huh. Like, I even got bullied a few times in middle school. Like, I was never considered, you know, the pageant type or anything. In fact, if you were to go to my middle school, everyone would probably think I'm the last girl to have a crown <laughs> on my head. So it That's helped funny. me, like, feel confident with myself because I didn't really have that confidence growing up. And then it's also opened so many doors for me because um, when you have this crown and the sash on, everyone wants you to go to their events and speak about your cause. And That's so since right. my message is on suicide prevention, this crown has opened so many doors where I could really deliver that message. I mean, like, other than this, you, you told uh, you are, uh, I mean, like, I follow you on Facebook and you're a mm -hmm. singer too. So what all yes. special uh, talents do you have other than? Yeah, so I enjoy singing. I grew up um, classically trained and then uh -huh. I, was in the opera class as well, but then I also did belly dancing. Uh -huh. And my mom, I actually learned a little bit from her because she was a classical dancer, yeah. but I kind of got more into belly dancing through that. And I like about belly dancing that it makes you feel free. Like you just kind of go with the rhythm and I don't think about anything else. I'm just in my own element. That's good. So other than this, what perf personal platform that you're actually interested or you're passionate about? Yeah, so other than suicide prevention, you know, I just want to encourage everyone else out there. If they have like a dream that they think is out of the world, I would say just go for it. Because if you don't try, you will never know. For me, being Miss Plano was like out of the world, but I went for it and it happened. So you never know. Don't let anything get in the way. Don't let your race, religion, disability, right. whatever mental or physical illness you have get in the way. Because in my pageant system, there's girls with like all kinds of things like that, like a disability and stuff, but they are the most confident, well-spoken women you will meet and you will never be able to tell they have anything so, like that. Yeah, no, ma no matter what the obstacle is, mm -hmm. just, just, just go, just, for, just it. go yeah, for it. Right. Just go for it. And regarding this, uh, the suicide prevention, mm -hmm. what actually inspired you or, uh, to go into that path to go ahead yeah. and to prevent that. I mean, like, what was the inspiration behind that? So, or? five years ago, I lost someone very close to me to suicide. He uh, was someone I knew since middle school. Uh -huh. And I remember I was 19 when I got the news. I was so shocked. This experience, like, completely devastated me. It was the first time I dealt with loss like this. And mm. I didn't see it coming because this person, he seemed very happy and optimistic. He was someone that I would never consider like this. And then, I went for months asking the questions like, oh, did he not care about me like everyone else does? Did he not, you know, love his friends and family like myself? Mm -hmm. But then, you know, after I dig deeper inside the brain and I studied neuroscience, I learned that there's chemical imbalances in the brain. Right. When a person is depressed, they can't see something outside of their pain. Right. Their prefrontal cortex doesn't function properly. Their amygdala keeps sending these action potentials of it firing, like there's danger happening, kind of like what an anxious person goes through. And mm -hmm. so when a person commits suicide, it's not because like they hate life or anything, they just want to end the pain because they can't see anything bigger than that. Yes. And so that's why I wanted to really use what I have to speak this knowledge to anyone else and to let them know that if you feel this way, that there's hope for you, there's help out there and that I'm ready to listen. Because a lot of times I think like we don't listen to these people. We kind of shun them away. We say like, oh, you can get over it. But it's not true. You know, they just need someone to be there for them. Yeah, to really be there. Mm -hmm. care. I mean, like, and, and I really see how close he is he because you almost ran into tears when yes. you were uh, telling yeah, it. Yeah, I get so tear eyed. It, yeah, I mean, like, I'm sorry about it. That's okay. Yeah, so I mean, like, is there any way that we can actually help uh, from our end to be mm -hmm. a part of your team uh, to spread this awareness and uh, yeah of course um like i said just to really reach out to someone look for these warning signs if you notice a friend or family member is sleeping too much or not sleeping enough eating too much not eating enough is drinking is like kind of isolated just go up to them and talk to them and say hey are you okay is there anything i can do for you and then if they do um you know, have those symptoms and then you feel like they're suicidal, don't be afraid to ask the question. Say, is there any chance that you feel suicidal? And if they say yes, then that should be a good thing because at least now they're able to express how they feel and you should tell them like, I'm here for you, there's help for you and you should encourage them to get help. 
Yeah, and so, so also being a part of organizations like NAMI and the AFSP, which I'm partnered with, mm -hmm. is also a great way to get involved with this. That's that's really nice. So all I mean, like, as a personal uh, from a personal end, you go ahead. You s if you see any form, of, I mean, like, if he's not stable, just mm -hmm. as not normal, you talk yeah. to him. You get as much as information. Exactly. And just try to console him from our end. I mean, like, an individual end. Exactly. That, that's really good. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And uh, yeah, we we had a talk about Miss Plano, then state level. Now, how about Miss uh, USA? So, when are you planning to uh, be a part of Miss Uni I mean, USA? And, uh so, hopefully, once I win Miss Texas United States, I get to compete in Miss United States. And from that, it's a great I opportunity to take my message even further and reach a bigger portion of you know, our land and our people because suicide is a big problem here in America. That's right. And yeah. then as Miss United States, I'd be representing this great country in the Miss World pageant. So. Yeah, that's what I was Don't stop. You're not going to definitely stop at Miss USA or you're going to go beyond that definitely, right? Hopefully, yes. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> yes, you know? definitely. <laughs> yeah. So is there any message that you want to give uh, for younger girls? I yeah. Mean, yeah. I just want to tell all the younger girls out there don't be afraid to do something that you feel is out of the norm because doing pageants like this was something that was completely out of the norm. If you dream of being the next Miss World one day, why couldn't you? You could go do it. You could do anything you want. Don't let like whatever you feel is getting in the way stop you. In fact, at my last event, it kind of broke my heart. A little girl, she came up to me and she told me, Miss Plano, how did you get your crown? Is it because you're pretty and skinny? And I was like, no, no, yeah. no. And so that's a big misconception we have in pageants because you see all these pretty girls, but then we're just all normal girls out there. Our theme, in fact, in Miss Texas United States is called This Is Me. Like, just to show people like, look, I'm the everyday girl. And I told this little girl like, no, it's not about that. It's about confidence. It's about, you know, having passion and wanting to do something for others. And I'm not a skinny girl either. I'm curvy and I'm perfectly confident in my own skin. And so you should be too. Yeah, you are skinny, you know. Thank and, you. And to be frank enough, really, I mean, like, I don't know the message, uh, the girls would get it or not. I got the message mm -hmm. to be really confident. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm basically a shy type of a boy. And uh, yeah. I mean, like, I'm scared of things, you know. I mean, after having a talk with you, mm -hmm. I'll definitely jump into things. And uh, no matter what the obstacles are. Yeah. It's, it's really pleasure having you. Thank you to be Thank a part you. of us. I'm Thank so you. happy to be here. Uh, it's pleasure is all mine, as I told you earlier. Thank you. So, viewers, that's it from Desi Plaza. Next time, I'll be again with one more celebrity like this. Hope you have a great day. Cheers. Bye.